When I graduated college back in 1990 with uh, my degrees in uh, mathematics and computer science, I went out into the business world to uh, utilize the, the knowledge that I had gained uh, and to have gainful employment. While there, I built tools for people uh, in various companies to help them, to empower them, to equip them with information so that they could be more effective in their jobs. And I would think to myself as I was doing it, boy, I, I wish that uh, I had something like this to help me uh, in, in under, understanding God and uh, church and the Bible and, and what it means to, to be a Christian. And so uh, that thought was there uh, all the way back then. Over time, I found myself growing in my walk with God. I was going to church. I was attending Bible studies and church services and uh, involved in ministries. And as I learned and I grew and uh, I, I drew closer to God, I found myself wanting to go back to school to learn more of what the Bible had to say about various topics and how it all held together. My background was one where I had Bible plus tradition as a part of my upbringing, and I wanted to know what the Bible had to say. And so I went back to school, to seminary, uh, and I received a Master of Ministry degree in Theological Studies in 2003. And then I moved to Valparaiso, Indiana, where God worked in and through my wife and I and our family uh, and lots and lots of people here to plant LifeBridge Christian Church of Valparaiso, Indiana. The, those early years with uh, church planting, I found myself uh, preaching and teaching, uh, explaining a lot of things, but that thought in, was always in the back of my head. I wish we had this in a, in a way that people could access it, could get to it uh, in, in whatever time worked for them, whatever schedule they had. If they were working night shift or they couldn't make it to Sunday services, I wanted them to be able to have resources available at their fingertips. I also had started to uh, understand a couple of things about Scripture that I really thought would be helpful to uh, anybody who wanted to learn how to walk together with God uh, and understand what the biblical picture was. The first concept that really uh, hit home for me was, uh, again, with my technical background, my computer and, and mathematics background, I started to see how Scripture holds together in a way um, much like uh, mathematics does. When we teach children math, we start first with concepts like addition and subtraction, and then we move on to more complicated things like uh, division and multiplication. We then move on to things like fractions and decimals, uh, algebra, and then, of course, things like calculus. These concepts need the previous concepts before the next concept makes sense. They build on one another. And what I found as I was reading scriptures and, and learning the scriptures is that um, there's a lot in the Bible that is that way as well. One concept doesn't make sense until you understand another concept. They build on each other. And so when we laid out this tool, uh, we laid it out with a, uh, a discipleship path, if you will, uh, a, a way for us to journey and to move through the information uh, that has one concept building on another concept. Each one of these uh, large concepts uh, we refer to as milestones on the path. And so when you look at your screen, you see little bubbles with numbers on them for milestones for the path. Those milestones will contain lessons that go along with a concept. And once you understand that concept, then the next concept will make more sense. It'll all fit together. There's a second thing that I started to realize as I uh, studied the scriptures in, in seminary and then came up here and started teaching. I started to realize that scripture has priority to it. Um, I, I don't mean that uh, 
uh, that uh, some scriptures are uh, true and other scriptures are not true. All scripture is God-breathed. To be sure, that is true. But what you see is that when it is taught, even by Jesus, it is taught with a priority in mind. When Jesus was asked, what is the greatest of all the commandments? He didn't say all the commandments are equally important. He said, no. He answered and said, uh, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul and all of your strength. This is the greatest commandment. He said there's a second that is equally important. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. What you start to see, even looking at Jesus' teachings, is that there is a priority to the scriptures, much like, a, like an outline for a, a book or another writing. Uh, Roman numeral one, love God. Roman numeral two, love your neighbor. Uh, and then the subpoints underneath that are many of the other scriptures as these concepts get unpacked. So, in order to make the, uh, the teachings available to you in a way where you can start with the overall concept and then dive deeper into the detail, we've set up levels in uh, the Pathbook uh, so that you can go to a milestone, look at the top level, see the concept at an overview level, and then if you want to dive deeper into that concept, you can go down to the next level and to the next level as well. The whole screen is set up for you to make it uh, easy for you to get to the lessons that build upon each other, milestones, and dive deeper, levels. Uh, and as you move along, they will all allow you to, to get to and select a lesson. And once you select that lesson, you'll be able to click on Go to Lesson to get all of the information that we have available for you uh, on that concept. Now there's one more thing that I, I want you to see as you're looking here at the tools on this page. And that is that uh, next to the lesson description, we have tabs for questions, knowledge, belief, and experience questions. Those are there because this is not just about uh, gaining information for uh, a grade in school. There are no grades here. This is about walking together with God and empowering and equipping and encouraging you in that journey. So with each lesson, you'll have some combination of knowledge, belief, and experience questions. The knowledge questions will simply ask you about the material that was covered in the lesson to make sure that you got the big points. The belief questions then start to ask you what you think about what was covered in there. Just because you know the Bible says something doesn't mean you agree with it. And then the third set of questions start talking about applying it to your life. Just because you know that the Bible says it and you agree that it should be done does not mean that you are experiencing that in your life. For example, if uh, I were to bring up the topic of forgiveness, a knowledge question would uh, ask you, do you know that what the Bible teaches about forgiveness. Yes, it tells me I am supposed to forgive. Then the second question, do you believe that we should forgive people when they sin against us? Uh, yes, I believe that we should forgive people when they sin against us. And then the third question is the tough one, where the rubber meets the road. So when somebody sins against you, do you forgive them? All the time? Some of the time? How often? See, the questions are there to empower, equip, and encourage you in your walk together with God. If there are questions for that lesson, you won't be able to mark the lesson complete until you have answered all of the questions. Don't worry, the answers are for you and your, you alone. You'll be able to share the answers with people if you want to, but it is for you, for your journey, for your path, for your walk, to help you in your walk together with God. When you look here on this particular lesson, you'll see questions there that don't make complete sense because 
they're not really covered by this video. You have to go to the lesson and watch the other video and read the other text in order to be able to answer the questions and know what it is that they're talking about. And so I encourage you to do that right now. Click on Go to Lesson and finish off the resources for this lesson to continue the tutorial.